going on, y'all? I hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving. Today is the day after Thanksgiving. The clip that you just saw is the day before Thanksgiving, and it is the first full day that I've worked at UPS as a PBD. Now, I did work the day before that only for a few hours, like three hours, I think it was. I was like, cool, I got this. I can do this. Okay. Next day I get there, work the first full day, y'all, them folks whooped me. I'm talking about they spanked me. You hear me? I was tired. My body was done for. Like, the next day if I'd have had to work, it wouldn't happen. I remember when I first took my local job, you know, as a truck driver, I, I was OTR, then I took my first local job, and it was a lot of in and out of the truck, you know, and, and I wasn't used to that. Body wasn't used to that. The next day, they said, can you come in? And I was supposed to be the only one there, y'all. I was supposed to be the only driver there because it was a small company. <sighs> I couldn't get up if I wanted to, y'all. I had to call the people. And I had to just start and say, I can't come in. It was on a Saturday. The guy said, don't worry about it. I said, okay, cool. And I went back in Monday and, and everything was good after that. But I had to get used to it. This right here with UPS is something that I would have to get used to. But I know I told y'all that I intentionally wanted to do this and this is the reason why I wanted to get this good workout in it's like a paid workout okay and then I don't want to take breaks and stuff because this is kind of like an adrenaline rush okay but you be trying to get done as fast as you can um but yeah I wanted to focus on my health that was like the main reason why I wanted to do this and I thought I was going to be doing it for like two good months for sure but it just didn't happen that way so do I like the job I like it it's a challenge and I love a challenge and I love an adrenaline rush. So it, it kind of works out for me. Uh, I just got to figure out a way to position those packages in my car in a way that I can deliver quicker because it took me a little too long last week. Well, I keep saying last week. Thanksgiving done threw me off, but it was this week. It took me a little too long to, um, to get them out of my car this week. I had like a brain freeze. I didn't eat nothing. That was like another strike against me i didn't eat nothing or drink nothing like throughout the day i did have like breakfast and like a lemonade earlier that morning but after that I had like a hunger headache and it's just kind of like it was going downhill for me but i got it done though uh, i'm not a quitter so i'm gonna keep going until somebody else called me for like a permanent job where i can be like stable on the job i want to work and so that's what we're gonna do i did tell the young lady i said hey i'm not sure how long i'm gonna be here i already filled out other applications i didn't think y'all would call and, and i just wanted to be honest with her um and she was like no problem just let me know ahead of time i said okay and um and i did y'all filled out like five six other applications like back to back and i have already seen um my application like the the, the movement of it and everything i done took a drug test for one of the jobs and everything had an interview at another one but i kind of like put that one on the back burner and but they end up giving it to somebody else which i'm not surprised because i put it off to like um like it was supposed to be this monday that i was supposed to go to the interview the only reason why i didn't take it is because that was paying 20 dollars an hour and i'm thinking you know i got some a good experience and um i think i'm worth more than 20 because there's some other jobs i've seen paying 26 29 30. i know some of y'all gonna say be grateful i am grateful i'm very grateful for a lot of things but um i think when an, uh, an employer value you they will pay you what you're worth so if you have the experience as a truck driver um then you should get paid a little bit more than twenty dollars. I think every truck driver, and this is what I said a long time ago. Now you know we got inflation now and everything. So a long time ago, I said every truck driver, I don't care if you're local or OTR, you should not make less than a thousand dollars. If you got CDL license, you should not make less than a thousand dollars a week. Now that was that was prior to inflation that I said that. Now I'm thinking more along the lines of like twelve, twelve hundred. And I'm being fair, twelve hundred. You shouldn't get paid less than twelve hundred, in my opinion, as a truck driver. Um, shout out to all the delivery drivers, the ones that touch freight. Y'all should get paid way more because, like I said, I'm doing this UPS PVD thing, and baby, <laughs> you better be fit and own it, or either own it. Just be steady, cause you know I'm not, I'm not fit, you know. Um. Uh, but uh, we're going to get there. But I'm not there, right? So you just got to keep it steady. And it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work on your body and all that. And, and 
Baby, I don't plan on having no kids, but I ain't trying to get all broke down either out here. <laughs> Shout out to them drivers, though. Shout out to y'all, because I have seen them, um, those jobs hiring. I'm like, nah, I'm not that, uh, I'm not that bold. So I know what I can and can't do, will and won't do.